what I want to share with you now is a piece by Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, Bach is considered a musical genius. Uh, he was born in 1685 in Eisenach, Germany. Um, he lived a life um, of music. At various points, it also had its moments of sorrow, starting with at nine years old when his parents died, one after the other. And he ended up moving in with an older brother who happened to be an organist at a church, and that's how he uh, got into music. That was his first musical training. Um, he wrote many things for violin, but these pieces, uh, what I'm about to play for you, is the first movement of a set of six pieces written for just the violin. He wrote these um, somewhere around 1720. Uh, he was working in Anhalt Kirten for the prince of Anhalt Kirten, and, and this prince happened to be Calvinist. And so Bach's deep tradition of sacred music was no longer at that point very relevant for his position. Instead, he was focusing on chamber music. He was focusing on instrumental music as opposed to music that had a religious um, backdrop to it. It was about uh, 1721, I believe, or 1720, when he was away with this prince on a work trip, and um, he received news that his wife had died suddenly, without any warning, just while he was away. And so he returned home to her grave. These pieces are not said to be religious, but we know that Bach was deeply religious himself, um, I'd like to share with you an idea that we can't corroborate this, we don't know this to be true, but I'd like to share it with you anyway. On the cover of this set of six pieces, the manuscript that Bach wrote, he wrote in Italian, he wrote, Se solo. Um, what he was trying to write was six solos and then four violin without bass accompaniment. And Instead of that, what he wrote was Se Solo. What he tried to write was Se Soli, which means six solos. But instead he wrote Se Solo with a period at the end. And it just so happens that in Italian, that translates to you are alone. We um, don't know that it was in his intention. We don't know that it was anything but a mistake. But what I want to think about now, some composers, we, we tend to establish some kind of imagery to provide context for the music. For Sibelius, we think about the desolation of the Finnish landscape. For Mozart, we, we talk about him being an opera composer and, and having to have the different operatic voices come through even on the violin. Bach is like speech. Bach is like human speech. Sometimes it's more obvious than other times. In the fugues, with the different lines, we, we can say it has a two voice or a three voice or four voice. And, and some of them, they really do talk to each other. It's quite funny. Sometimes they argue, sometimes they agree. Eventually, they all come together at the end. But this piece, this is the first movement of the first sonata of the six. And when you consider this mysticism of say solo in You Are Alone, I'd like to think about perhaps he's lamenting the loss of his wife. Perhaps he's trying to, through his musical speech, have a conversation with a higher power and I'd like to take it one step further. I'd, I'd like to think that he's asking why. And I'd also like to think that he might find an answer.